Tell me, uh, tell me a little bit about what it takes to be competitive at this uh, Fargo tournament. Well, Joe, this is a tough tournament. You got kids from all over. Mm -hmm. um, you got to be mentally prepared. You got to be physically prepared, and you just got to be on your game. You know, you cannot take a, a, a relaxed moment in this tournament. Everybody's got a resume. Everybody's a state champion. You got returning All Americans, right? Everybody's got some sort of resume. So, like I tell our kids, man, everybody's tough. You take nobody for granted. That first match, you step on the mat, you're ready, and you're ready to rock and roll. You're, uh, you represent the Midwest. What would you say kind of defines the, the athlete, the wrestler that comes out of the Midwest versus the East or West Coast or the Northeast or anything? Is there Blue any collar, man. Blue collar. I mean, bring a hard hat. Not saying those guys don't, but this at Midwest is just a blue collar. You know, some of them may not be the most athletic. Some of them may not be the most, but they got some grit to them, and they're going to find a way to win the match. And that's one thing we preach. Try to have some dog in you. Be tough, be tough, because that's what it's going to take to, to get on this podium, be on top of this podium. That's what it's going to take. And then also, that's what it's going to take when you get out to the real world and become a responsible individual. Oklahoma Wrestling Academy, what uh, what do you hope when kids leave or they move on, or what do you hope they, they take with them from your training? Man, you know what? Character, life lessons, dignity, motivation. I mean, there's a whole laundry list. Integrity. Um, you know, as far as our core values go that we try to teach at OWA and just be responsible people, you know, be a, be a, be a, be a force, be an impact, uh, you know, you know, in your, in your community, you know, you may win state titles and stuff. That is great. But I, I, I want solid young men and women as well. And, and also give back to the sport. That's, that's key. I mean, I'm, I've been fortunate enough and blessed enough to do that for 20 years plus, And I want those kids to do that and pay it forward. And when I see that, it's like a big pop of bear, man. It just makes my heart smile. Is it fun? Are you having fun? I'm having a blast. And uh, I couldn't imagine myself uh, not coaching the youth or some of these guys and help them. Because we've lived it. We've lived the battles. We've been through the ups. We've been through the downs. And we're trying to teach these young men and women as that how to handle it. Now, they're gonna, they are gonna—they got to go through that and live it themselves. But we're trying, to, we're trying to polish them up a little bit and help them out. Awesome. Well, uh, thank you for um, putting, putting your energy into the sport and uh, doing what you do. You got anything else to share with us? That's it. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it.